to control the paper path. Okay. So what we want to do here is make sure that this paper stack is set just a little bit to the right of 11 inches. Okay. okay. And then we'll raise it up. We're going to move the side guides out because we don't know if uh, we don't know if they were set right for that. So now we'll put in this guy and slide the uh, left guide over to where it's touching. And then we're going to raise it up to height. And what I want to do is manually feed a sheet in. So I'm going to turn on the air. And turn the press over by hand until it picks up a sheet. Is um, where the sheets run in. Okay. Okay, and you can see it's a little bit off 11 there. And it hasn't. Now it's running in kind of crooked. Yeah, it's about an eighth of an inch off, which is what we right. want. And then we want the jogger to come over, oh, fairly close to 11. So I'm going to back this off a little bit. And the reason we're doing that is, you know, all these marks are used to center your image up on the sheet so you can get it fairly close. Okay. Okay. And then we can... sets up. And it's running pretty close to 11 there. Now, I think you'll notice here that it's it hits on this side before this side. Right. And and that's a key. If we run multiple sheets through, you'll see how that's happening and that's going to make it hard. <laughs> Is you just want to make sure that the paper is jogging evenly and not okay. bouncing around on the board. Because if it is, it's going to put each image in a different spot on the sheet, okay? Which means when you try to align the second color, it's impossible. They have to be in exactly the same spot. Um, and I'll show you how to check that in a minute. So we've got paper feeding through. Still